Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Luke Ness Monster, and this is our Star Wars Black Series Weekly News Recap. This series on the channel will re-recap everything that's happened in the Star Wars of Black Series community in the last week, and I gotta say, we do have some pretty exciting news to go over. So if you aren't yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you go down and hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on any Star Wars Black Series news, and on to the video. So jumping right into the news, we actually do have several reports showing that the Star Wars Black Series 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi Wave 2 is starting to show up in stores. Now this photo here is actually from GameStop. So it is showing up in GameStop stores, but I have also seen several reports of showing up in Target and Walmart stores as well. And to recap what this wave is, if you're unfamiliar, it actually does include the Emperor, a Stormtrooper, the Ewok, Poplu, as well as Chewbacca and Bib Fortuna. So overall, this is a pretty decent wave. Uh, most of these are re-releases. I believe the only new figure here is actually uh, Chewbacca, and that's just because his head sculpt is new with uh, the Jabba's Palace-like collar. But uh, this one's a pretty solid wave. I do know that uh, Papalu was, I believe, a uh, like a... Hasbro Pulse exclusive before, part of the Heroes of Endor 4 pack, so it's nice to get him as a mainline release. And then, you know, Stormtroopers are, it's always nice to get Stormtroopers in the line. We need those repacked as much as possible. So overall, pretty decent wave, and uh, can't wait to start seeing these hit stores near me. Next up, we actually do have a figure from Figure Brian on Instagram, and it is of the brand new ARC Trooper jesse figure which is a walmart exclusive and i'm not quite sure how we got this figure early but it is really cool to see it in hand now uh, we already do have confirmation from yak face that this figure is showing up in distribution centers around the u.s so it's not too out of the like ordinary that we already are seeing some in-hand photos of this figure but the official release date isn't until i believe july 19th 17th it's like the middle of july i believe i'd have to go back and check my pre-order so i'll go up and throw a photo on screen for you guys so you can see but uh, I think it's interesting that we already have some in-hand photos of this guy, and I cannot wait to see some out-of-box photos. So as soon as those out-of-box photos get released, I'll definitely uh, post them here in a news video. So make sure to stick around for that. But it's really interesting to see this figure in hand early. And uh, like I say, as much as I don't like this figure, it'll be nice to see some out-of-box photos. And speaking of out-of-box photos, we actually do have some brand new out-of-box photos posted by uh, Zach from the Black Series Cantina podcast. And he did post, of course, the Rebel Endor Soldier out-of-box, and I gotta say, this figure looks incredible. Now, unfortunately, there are only two swappable heads, and I believe the uh, designers did confirm that the Hoth Rebel Soldier faces do not swap onto this head. But looking at this guy, it is pretty pretty cool. I'm really excited about this one. I love the Hoth Rebel Soldiers, so it's nice to get some Endor Rebel Soldiers in the line. Next up, we actually do have the photos of the uh, quote-unquote Captain Rex face, and I'm really excited for this guy. This is probably the one I go with. Um, I may end up picking up two of these figures just so I can get both faces, but unfortunately, this one lacks a lot of the custom ability that the Hoth Rebel Soldier has, just because there's no goggles or face covering, so because of that, you know, you can only really do the two faces, so... Uh, um, it's a little unfortunate, but I am still excited for this figure. But he does have some custom ability. He does have, of course, the removable backpack as well as the, like, bandolier pouch thing. So that's pretty cool. I'm glad they included that. But I do think one thing that would have made the custom ability a lot better is including some sort of poncho or overcoat. Because a lot of the, the actual characters in the scene do have ponchos and overcoats. And they kind of chose the one design of the one guy there that didn't have it. So for a 30 to, like, I guess it might be a 32 or $33 deluxe figure... It should have come with uh, some kind of cloak or poncho just to make it a little bit more customizable because then you could buy more of them and, uh, you know, each of them would be different characters. Now, this isn't necessarily a piece of news as it's just something I really wanted to talk about here on the channel. But I was just scrolling through Hasbro Pulse earlier today and I noticed that the standard Galaxy Style packaging bo is still in stock on Hasbro Pulse. And I was really shocked by this because they actually just announced that she would be getting a re-release in the Archive line, which will be coming out, I believe, in 2024. And this was just kind of disappointing to me. Uh, mainly because I really like the archive line and it gives us a lot of opportunities to get figures that we wouldn't normally get re-released in the line. So, uh, you know, archive spots are pretty precious and I just feel like they completely wasted this spot knowing that bo is still in stock on, the, on Hasbro Pulse. So why in the heck are we 
giving this figure an archive release. It just blows my mind. And I really wanted to point it out because I know before I was saying like, well, you know, it's it's cheap on the aftermarket, but it's kind of out of stock everywhere. So you're going to have to go through eBay, Amazon, some of these third party sites, but it's still in stock on Pulse, which means there is absolutely no reason to be archiving this figure in my opinion. And I really wanted to point it out there because I think it's kind of ridiculous. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today's news video. If you did enjoy the like button and subscribe, if you do want to support the channel in other ways, make sure to go down and hit that join button down below and become a channel member. You'll get access to all of these cool emojis as well as access to the members discord. And if you do want to help out the channel in other ways, make sure to go down and click the top link in the description below and check out the Luke Ness Monster merch store. We do have a ton of stuff out there, including t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, etc. So if you do want to check it out, I greatly appreciate it and it helps out the channel a ton. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video.